Hi folks, Pixel Pedant here once again and taking a look today at Terry Turtle's Adventure for TI-99 4A and Milton Bradley MBX. It's an education title from the Bright Beginning series in which we learn elementary programming from a friendly little turtle, according to the manual anyway. From the MBX release lineup of 10 games, this is one of three games that require the MBX to run at all. Like Championship Baseball and I'm Hiding, the other two in this category, it'll fail to launch, displaying this screen if there isn't a working MBX attached on start. That being the case, it's one I've looked forward to recording gameplay for, given no gameplay footage exists for it that I can find to date, and most folks don't have an MBX or the cart, both of which you need to take it for a spin. So, well, I'd like to get that out there so that Anyone in the 99er community who wants to see what this game's about can. Opening the box, since I did get the game complete and sealed, and have now unsealed it, we find the manual, of course. Then underneath that, the overlay. You can see here there's an indentation in the mold of the MBX game box to allow an overlay to fit inside. Then underneath that, we've got a late 83 TI program library catalog promoting all the great MBX software coming to the TI-99 in 1984 and beyond, and featuring other upcoming titles like Magic's Wing War. Ah, <sighs> oh, late 83. It was the best of times, it was the blurst of times. But anyway, let's plug in the cart and see what it's got for us. Or what it's got for kids looking to learn about programming in 1984, anyway. And the first thing we'll see, since this is a Milton Bradley game, is a good attract mode. Hi, I'm Terry Turtle. Please help me go home. I can't go forward. I can go forward. I can swim. I can go forward. I can turn. I can climb. I can go forward. I can eat. I can go forward. I can climb. Here's a strawberry. Alright, having seen the attract mode and gotten a strawberry, let's try it for ourselves. First order of business, of course, will be recording voice commands, of which there are plenty. Please say one. 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 Please say two. 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 Please say three. Three. Please say swim. 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 Please say eat. Eat. Please say climb. Climb. Please say dig. Dig. Please say left. Left. Please say right. Right. Please say one. One. Please say two. Two. Please say three. 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 Please say swim. Swim. Please say eat. Eat. Please say climb. Climb. Please say dig. Dig. Please say left. Left. Please say right. Right. Hi, I'm Terry Turtle. Please help me go home. What should I do? Eat. Eat. What should I do? One. One. What should I do? One. One. What should I do? Left. Left. What should I do? Two. Left. What should I do? Right. Right. What should I do? 
Two. Two. A strawberry. Yum, yum. What should I do? Right. Right. What should I do? One. One. What should I do? Right. Right. What should I do? One. One. What should I do? Climb. Climb. What should I do? Left. Left. What should I do? One. One. Home sweet home. Okay, so that's a skill level one game played with voice commands, but let's try a higher difficulty and using the keypad. Hi, I'm Terry Turtle. Please help me go home. What should I do? And here I'll use the multi-step mode, which gives him a chain of commands, which he follows as soon as I press move at the end of them. And here in particular, I'd say, is where teaching elementary programming concepts comes in. So we've got two objectives here, which is collecting strawberries and getting home. And, well, you can focus on whichever you like. Climb. Climb. Right. Three. I want a strawberry. Get off my lawn. The logo programming language made itself notable, including on TI-99, for teaching elementary programming concepts with Turtle Graphics. So I can't help looking at Terry Turtle's adventure as a fun little spin on that. Right. Three. I hope I've now demonstrated that I am roughly as smart as a five-year-old. Right. One. Left. One. Okay, time for level four and ultimate victory. Hi, I'm Terry Turtle. Please help me go Okay, no excuse to avoid the strawberries this time. It's right in my path. A strawberry. Yum, yum. Now you are actually playing against a clock here, although we can't see it right now. Terry has to get home before winter. I can't do that. And as the seasons change, we're threatened with the possibility of not getting there by winter and, I don't know, Terry freezing to death or something, I guess? And you can see here the threat of the other creatures in the forest is that they'll steal the other strawberries like that bird just did. That bastard. When other creatures enter the screen, they continue on their set trajectory with respect to the screen. So Terry can prevent them from stealing his strawberries by moving in such a way that they are moved out of the strawberries' path. 
The manual mentions that strategy, making it an intentional part of the game. Well, congratulations, everyone. I feel we are all now as smart as a five-year-old, or close, anyway. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.